Hi folks, in a previous tutorial we created a hello world application using Spring Boot and Maven build tool. In this tutorial we will be creating a hello world application using Spring Boot and Gradle build tool. For this I am going to take reference of my website javainews.com. So previously we had uh, done a tutorial for Spring Boot plus Maven. In this tutorial we will be uh, creating a Spring Boot Hello World application using Gradle. So let's begin with the implementation part. Uh, the first part would be to install the Gradle plugin in our Eclipse environment. So if it has not already been installed, go to Eclipse, go to help. Eclipse Marketplace Select Gradle and search for it Here select the Bellship Gradle integration and click on install Click on confirm Accept the agreement and click on finish. Restart the eclipse. So the Gradle plugin uh, has been installed. So now that the Gradle plugin has been installed, go to File, New and select uh, Gradle project. We name it as Spring Boot Gradle. So our Gradle project uh, is created. This will be the uh, project structure, Gradle project that we will be creating in this tutorial. So here uh, these are the Gradle dependencies that we will be requiring at the compile time and some of them will be requiring at the uh, uh, during only the testing uh, environment. So copy this. We'll paste it in the build.gradle. Next, we'll crea create the boot gradle application.java. So this will be a Spring Boot class. Okay, so we have not uh, built the Gradle file still, and uh, so these dependencies have not been imported. So I'll just comment this class. Right-click on this project. Then go to Gradle, refresh Gradle project. So it will download whatever dependencies we have specified in the build.gradle file. So 
so the dependency is now that they have been downloaded we can uncomment this and we will not be getting any error now so this will be our boot class in the next we will be writing a simple controller which will map uh, slash welcome.html it will return a page welcome.jsp so copy this controller Next in the application dot properties, we'll specify the uh, prefix and the suffix because uh, in the model and view we'll be returning only welcome, so it will automatically prefix and suffix these properties. Uh, we don't have a source main resources folder here, so just right click and create one. properties finally we'll be creating the JSP page welcome.jsp so this will go in webinf uh, slash JSP folder so in the main we'll be creating a web app webinf JSP So all the coding changes have been done, just go and uh, refresh the project once more, so it will compile the project. Run it as a Java application. So our project has successfully started. So let's check if we are, our application is running properly. So go to this URL localhost colon ATT slash welcome.html since in our controller we have mentioned we have mapped it to welcome.html. Yes, so we are getting welcome to student boot correctly. So our application uh, uh, is correctly deployed. Uh, you can download the source code from here. Uh, hope you have understood this tutorial. Thank you.